Hey guys, Adam here and welcome back to another episode on the Dad of All Trades channel. Today, we're going to be trying something different that I haven't tried before. As you've seen in the past video, I just recently purchased a, a Gerber flat iron, which is right here, sorry. And this thing is razor sharp, ready to go. And what I'm going to try to do today is take this Warthog knife sharpener, it's actually the classic we bought this thing a long, long time ago, and you won't find them built like this anymore. But uh, what I'm going to try to do is I have bought some new stones for it. I call them stones. They're not really stone. This one calls it honers, but they're fine. Thousand grit. Now, they're made by Warthog, the company that makes the sharpener. But these things, I don't know, they came from South Africa. And to me, they were just... Kind of junk. The holes didn't line up right. Well, they lined up all right, but it had the wrong threads. If you if you run into this problem in the future, these that hold them on are M3s. So, luckily I work in a machine shop and was able to run a drill and tap through there and re-tap them. But they are actually M3s. And the holes that hold the steels, these are our old hones. These little holes here are full of grit or whatever. They're just full. They're no good. I'm going to have to open them up. And I didn't do that today because I can always put these back on and fix it. So with that being said, I did get them on. Thousand grit. Super fine. I've turned this thing. Let's see if I can show you here. You get options on this for different angles. With these three holes. And this is the finest angle. I've never tried to sharpen a knife on this angle. It's pretty fine. So what I plan on doing today. With this knife. Is I'm going to ink up that blade. And I'm not going to use blue dicum. Sorry. No I won't be singing about it either. I'm actually going to use a sharpie. Because it's thinner. It's what I do at work a lot of times. When trying to do some nice fine blending. I'm going to use a sharpie, color on the blade, and we'll see where it hits. So let me get this thing colored up and we'll get right back to you guys. This is all I'm doing. Just little colors. Coloring it in. This way I'll see where it's hitting. So I'm not 100% sure what the angle is that came on this knife. But this will tell us real quick. Sorry. This will tell us real quick. Where we're hitting with these fine stones. Hopefully. It does good. It makes it even finer. We can sharpen this thing up. So a quick little tutorial with this knife sharpener. Pretty sure it's the same on all of them. You got these rails right here that do not move once you get them set how you like them. The, the homes actually move back and forth. What you're going to do is take the flat part of your blade, which is one of my little complaints about this knife, just because of this knife sharpener, that this flat part is not thicker. And you're going to put it up against the edge here. And we're going to work it down. So, line it up first. Ooh, I got the choil on that one. All right. See, so we can see here. It actually hit down right down on the edge. See how it's just kind of shiny down there? Which means this angle on the sharpener is wider or steeper than the angle that's actually on this knife. That's why we put the little sharpie on there. It tells us that right away. I love the sharpener though. It takes care of all this for us. 
I mean, this thing is like insane sharp. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've sharpened up that little edge. Some of the marker's gone because I tried to hit it with the belt, but I went back and re-hit it on the stones. Now what I've done is I've changed the stones, the hones, and put the steels on it, which is just two metal rods, but they deburr very well. And it's got a little burr on it. This thing is so fine. But all you do is the same thing as before. Just line the sides up. And it really takes nothing. And this thing is just wicked sharp. Man, I'll tell you what. I'm loving this knife that I just bought. Gerber flat iron. Everybody at work likes it. I think it's pretty cool. I know it's not cool to show everybody stuff like that, but I think it's a pretty awesome knife. I'll tell you what. I was trying to open it like this with your thumb. That's not the way to open this thing. Actually with this finger. It's almost as good as like an assisted opening. It doesn't have anything here, but I'll tell you what. Wham. And I'm not even pushing it the whole time. Just do that with your finger. You gotta put it in the hole. But this knife is sweet. Those stones. Those hones, a thousand grit, I think they're gonna work out good. Knife is just absolutely shaven sharp. Ridiculous. Great EDC, I think. Tomorrow I'll clean that marker off, a little dicom remover. And it's gonna be great. So y'all, thanks for watching. Thanks for the likes, shares, subscribes. And I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one, guys.